Merry Christmas, Bill. Bah. Humbug. Humbug. Whatever makes you say that? Christmas gets worse every year. It's nothing but a time for spending money you don't have on people you don't really like. Whoever thought of such a dumb tradition as gift giving anyway? Christmas is not just about giving gifts, Bill. It's also a time for businesses to get rich off all the people who go running to the mall to buy mounds of presents for a list of people a mile long. You are quite cynical. If sanity looks like cynicism, then yes, I am cynical. I paid $35 just to come to this dumb office party, and what do I get? A cardboard Christmas tree. Cardboard. Does this company have any sense of decency? Well, I think it's a fine Christmas party. You were disillusioned by the Christmas spirit. Likely you have spent an inordinate amount of your life savings on gifts for your oodles of relatives who will most likely have no appreciation for the blood, sweat, and tears you poured into picking out each and every gift. Now, having put yourself in debt for no reason whatsoever, you try to convince yourself that it is all in the spirit of giving and that you really do enjoy all the stress and frustration you have put yourself through. You eat the cookies and drink the eggnog until you find yourself in a sugar-induced delusion of happiness. Now I know why everyone has been avoiding you all evening. I'm right, aren't I? No. No, you are not. You are completely wrong. We do not give gifts out of a sense of obligation, but rather out of a feeling of kindness and goodwill. We give gifts to commemorate the perfect gift given on the very first Christmas. The gifts we give to our fellow man are a reflection of that most excellent gift, a gift that all should strive to remember not just on this day, but on every day of the year. That was a nice speech, Carol. However, I don't see much evidence for all of that here. Thirty-five dollars, and they set out potato chips and a celery platter. I mean, the wreath is made of paper and crayons. Bill, I think you are missing the point. And just what is the point? The point is to enjoy each other's company and share the gladness of Christmas with one another. Our surroundings are irrelevant. What matters is that we make the best of what we have and enjoy ourselves. Carol, the tree is made of cardboard. Yes, I am aware of that. Don't think about the tree. I cannot not think about the tree. It's right there, staring at me. It is so depressing. It's like some big, Synthetic rain cloud pouring raindrops of sadness all over my parade. Are you telling me that this is all about the tree? A tree like that could make a Scrooge out of anybody. I'm sorry you feel that way. I was looking forward to having a really great tree. My dog is allergic to pine, so I could never have a real, genuine Christmas tree in my own house. Really? Your dog is allergic to pine? Yes. It makes him go a bit loony. He'll stay up all night barking out the melody of jingle bells. The neighbors threatened to take legal action. So I... decided it was best not to have a tree. I would tend to agree. I thought coming here he'd finally have the chance to enjoy the sweet smell of pine without hearing a dog sing generic Christmas carols while worrying about what revenge my evil neighbors will take on me. I even brought my own ornament to hang on the tree. Now what will I do with it? Well, if you hang it on your nose it might add a festive touch to your dour expression. Somehow I don't think that will help. Perhaps if I told you more about this little cardboard tree. I think I'd rather not. So said, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yet he was better for listening to the words of the three Christmas spirits. Fine. Lead on, O oh spirit of cheap Christmas decorations. Well, as you may know, our company donates a large sum of money to the children's hospital every year. And also every year, as an expression of thanks, the kids in the cancer ward collaborate to create something special for us. This year, they were each given a piece of a plain cardboard Christmas tree. Each child then carefully and lovingly colored their piece with their tiny hands. After it was done, the nurses assembled it and sent it to us. All the children signed their names on the star as well, and wrote Merry Christmas. Wow. I feel like such a jerk, I wish I had a brown paper bag to put over my head so that I could hide my face in shame. Are you saying your perspective has changed? Of course. From now on, I will not assume that even a cardboard tree is less worthy than a real one. I have learned that just because something is cheap, flimsy, 
or aesthetically disappointing does not make it meaningless. Meaning comes from the heart. Well said, Bill. It is truly the thought that counts. Speaking of which, I did bring a gift for you. Let me go first. Here is my gift to you, and it is truly from the heart. Oh, wow. Socks. I do love a pair of socks. Please, accept my gift to you. Bill, this is the same fruitcake that I gave to you last year. Well, you know what they say. It is better to give than to receive. <laughs>